name's Simon Davenport, and I'm the youth pastor at Church of His Presence. So we actually started, the first youth meeting we had was in my house in Mobile. So I was living in Midtown, it wasn't this, you know, big place, but I had a big spacious living room, and we just had just more of a small group. From that point, we went to a, a hotel over here in Baldwin County. From there, we went to the Daphne Civic Center and meeting in a room there. And from that point, we moved over to where we're at now, which is what we call the warehouse. Yeah, we renovated a big, you know, RV storage unit, really is what it was, and laid carpet, painted the walls, painted the ceiling. And where we're at now is so different than where we started, but the same enthusiasm for the things of God, the same presence of the Lord is there. When I first started coming here, I didn't understand how God worked and how to have a, have a real life with God. And by listening to Pastor Simon preach, I've learned the right way to live. He's like, it's kind of bringing me out of my comfort zone. I've like been forced to, um, to take steps in the Lord and I feel like it's just like a constant propelling you know, even like, even if I feel like it's like a dry season, which I feel like it's a dry season, it's like caused me to be consistent. So in essence, the mission of Radiate Youth Ministry would be three distinct parts. And the first being awakening. Just a spirit of, of revival, of coming alive to God, whether abruptly at a, uh, a Friday night at night or a Tuesday night worship service. That the fact that the things of God become absolutely real and more important than anything else in this world. And the second thing I would say that is part of our, our mission is going to be preparation, you know. And we've, there's certain different words you can use, you know, for preparation. But pretty much it's what Jesus talked about, you know, counting the cost. What is it really going to take? What is it really going to cost the individual to say, you know what, I really want God to use my life. And I think the last one is a, it's a go. It's to say, you know what? Jesus says that, that we're, to, we're to go, we're to be witnesses for Him in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the ends of the earth. So before I came here, I was very disobedient. I had to listen to my mom, not anybody. I um, was rebellious. So I kind of did my own thing. I ain't following anybody else's rules. And I just didn't mean I did, didn't, really didn't care what anybody else think about it. But now since I came here, I'm like, I start listening to my mom finally. I stopped getting in trouble. I'm homeschooled now because I used to go to public school before I came here. And um, yeah, it helped out tremendously. In the past year, maybe two, I've turned from the shy guy to like, I'm front and center every, every Tuesday and pushing through, going after God all the time. I think we all know that, you know, teenagers and students, they can be a handful. They can be all over the place. But I feel like if we can provide a safe place for these students to figure out who they are, that under the protection and the covering of a, of a healthy youth ministry, that they already know that they're loved by the Lord, and that they can, at that point, just figure out, well, who, do, who am I? And I think that's so vital, because at the end of the day, you know, there's safety in a youth ministry. There's safety in, 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 a, in having a, someone that's called to them, someone that feels anointed to watch over them as they navigate through this, you know, can be a very chaotic time of their life. And hopefully, you know, by the grace of God, they'll wind up on the other side, ready to go assert themselves in the world rather than the world assert itself onto them. How can people be involved with what's going on at Radiate? I mean, three things really. First is to just, just to pray and to see the, the hand of the, the Lord really do mighty things in the young people of our church. I think the second thing that, uh, that people can do if they want to help is to be able to volunteer some time. There's so many students that are needing rides to youth, that, um, that need uh, help to get to camp. And I think last is just to support and just get behind what God's doing at Radiate Youth. I really think that we will be surprised at the, the fruit that can be, that can be produced. I'm